Hey guys, in this lesson, we're gonna tie it all together even more, and I'm going to show you how to perform your first basic transition. So we are going to transition from song A into song B. And this is the quickest and easiest way for you to get you up and running, learning how to transition between tracks. So for this technique, we're going to be using the crossfader to transition between them. And we're going to have to set the crossfader setting now to fade rather than cut because we want to be able to fade the song in. So we're doing a blending technique. So you want a, a nice, easy fade. Now you can choose what kind of fade you have with this crossfader. However, some crossfaders don't have as much flexibility. So like I said before, on the curve, we could actually make it go full volume uh, over here all the way to the end. Uh, some crossfaders only allow to go full volume in the center and then from here to here it's the same level of volume for this channel. But for this I'm going to do the long one and we're going to go all the way to the left so you can hear a really smooth transition. If you only have the shorter one then just do it super slow till we get to the middle and then that's full volume, okay? And I do want to note that in the next course, the DJ Mixing Beginner course, I'm going to show you even more techniques using the up and down volume faders for your mixing, which I personally feel is, uh, gives you a lot more flexibility with your mix. But this is your first transition, and I want you to get used to this first before you move on to that basic mixing course. So for that, we have it on, we're going to have it on the slow setting. And I'm going to let this play, and then I'm going to drop this one in and I'm going to fade it over really nice and smooth until it gets all the way to the other side and cuts this track out. Now for this lesson, we're gonna be using two of the same song on both sides. So make sure they're in the center on the tempo fader. And I'm using Wax That Booty again, so you're familiar with this song. And then in the next lesson, we're going to be doing the same technique with two different songs. So first practice it with two of the same song and then move on to two different songs. So I'm just gonna start this and I want the crossfader all the way to the left so we're only hearing this side. And then you're going to be using your headphones just like we did in the last lesson and we're going to be doing our babies and then we're gonna drop it in and then we're gonna start fading it. Now we're not gonna be doing the cutting technique that I taught you, that is just preparing you for the next course, okay? So this one, if you're doing a fade with the crossfader, you don't wanna cut it in because then it'll just be in. <laughs> you wanna do a nice, Fade. unless that's something that you want to do that's a totally that's a drop mix and that's a totally different type of mix this is just a simple blend so for this you're gonna drop it but then you're gonna start fading it so you're gonna hear it in the headphones make sure you have the cue so I'm gonna have it set to the middle so I hear the master and the cue equally but play around and see which works best for you you may want to hear the cue more or the master more it's just up to you okay so I'm just gonna play this track so we got this one going and then we're going to get this one ready. So I can hear it in the cue, even though the crossfader's all the way over. So you can't hear this, but I can hear it. So I'm just uh, getting it to my 12 o'clock point because that's where I like it. And then I'm gonna press the cue point. And then I'm gonna wait for the eighth bar. Five, six, seven, Forward, 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 drop. Now I'm gonna start fading it. I'm gonna switch to master so I can hear what the dance floor's hearing now. And there we go. So we just transitioned from this side to this side and it was a nice smooth transition. It was rather fast because we only did an eight bar mix, we can do a longer mix. So this time I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm going to let it play for 16 bars. So let's go back and get this ready because we're only gonna let this one play for eight bars first. So. So now I wanna mess with the cue so I can hear it. Forward, 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 drop. Now I have a longer time to fade. bars 
that was super smooth and it landed on the one of this phrase and it ended in the right phrasing with this one on this side. Now it was the same track, so it just sounded like the same track was continuing to play, but it wouldn't have sounded like that if we didn't drop it on the one of the phrase. So another reason why dropping it on the one is super important, not just for technical reasons, but if you think about it, okay, if you're DJing in a nightclub and you got people dancing, they might not understand music theory like we do, like what I just taught you now that you understand all this stuff. However, they're gonna feel it. So if you drop it in on like the beat three or whatever, and then it's a beat off, or maybe it's a bar off of the phrasing. Maybe you dropped it on eight instead of on the one of the next phrase, and then it's dropping, it's gonna drop off. They're gonna feel it. So they're gonna be dancing, and then they're gonna be like, oh, this is odd. And it's gonna take them a minute to to get back in the groove again. If you keep doing that all night, you're gonna clear the dance floor because they're just gonna be like, oh, this doesn't feel good. So you definitely don't wanna do that because <laughs> you wanna keep them dancing. And you're also gonna know because you just learned all this stuff. So that's a, a really important reason why, uh, not only for technical reasons, but other people will feel it even if they don't understand the technical music theory behind it. So practice that and I want you to say do eight bars, let it blend, maybe 16 bars, and then go to the other side. And uh, so now this one's playing, right? And then we would uh, do the same technique and drop in this one and see how many times you can do it going back and forth between the track. And then once you practice that, do it maybe with a couple other of the same songs in different genres. So uh, maybe two house tracks that are the same. Uh, and then once you've practiced all that, go on to the next lesson.